Today I'm going to show you how to make a circle monogram font using your Cricut Design Space. Now the way that I'm going to show you, you will actually need a circle monogram font. So you can come to dafont.com. I love coming to Dafont to get fonts. Um, they've got some really awesome stuff. And I always suggest donating if you can. Um, but to search, you can either go to Fancy or type in here and type in monogram. And then they'll pop up. Now on a Mac, which is what I use, um, the steps will be a little bit different than if you're using a PC. But either way, you'll hit download. It'll go to your downloads. On a Mac, you'll go to your finder and then downloads. And then your font will be right here. I already have this installed, but I'll show you the steps to install it. You're going to double click. This will show up and it'll show you all the different options. This one only has the one option and then you're going to hit install font. I'm going to get an error message because it's already here, but you would hit install checked if this popped up and you don't have it installed. Here's a list of all of my fonts. Monogram is right here, as you can see, so you can double check that it's installed. Now we're going to open up a new tab and go to Cricut Design Space. All right, once here, you're going to hit New Project, select Text. I want L T L. Now, this is not the font that I want, so we're going to come to Font, click System, and then just type in Monogram. There's my font. All right, so we're going to make this bigger. Um, my monogram needs to be quite large because it's filling the entire front of a shirt. But we're not going to go that big yet because it's going to be hard to work with. So there's L, T, and L. Now you might be asking, but I don't want three T's. I don't want three L's. I just want one of each. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So with, with uh, the three letters selected, we're going to hit ungroup. And that's going to put it in three separate spots. Then you're going to come to Shapes, Square. Now, as it is now, if you adjust this, it's going to stay proportioned. And we don't necessarily want that, so we're going to hit this little lock. And then we're going to drag it and make it skinnier. Now, the, what you want to do is just make sure to be able to cover up the parts you don't want. So I'm going to also change the color just so it's a little bit easier to distinguish between the two. Select your rectangle again, and we're going to hit Duplicate three times. All right, so we're going to come over here to the letter over here. We're going to cover up the two pieces we don't want. I'm going to drag this one over to this letter and cover up the two pieces we don't want. We're going to do the same thing with the other two rectangles. Now, we want to try to make it evenly spaced. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Where this black is on mine, you want to try to make sure that this space is even between all of them. That way, when it joins up together, they will be uh, lined up and, and good to go. So we're going to create the first letter. You're going to select the L, hold down the Shift key, and select the first rectangle. Alternatively, you can just click with your mouse and drag down and select the two. Up to you. Come down here to Slice. Hit slice, and what it does is it joins these two together and cuts them. So select that rectangle, hit delete. Select the rectangle, and either hit delete on your keyboard or hit the little X here. Now it looks like it's still here, but you can select it one last time. Now we've got our L. So we're going to scroll over here and grab this L and do the same thing. Select the L, Shift key, select the rectangle, 
or drag and drop, slice, select the rectangle, hit delete on your keyboard or the red X here, select the pink part, hit the delete key or select the red X here, select it one last time and hit delete and the X here. We're down to that L. Now the middle letter is a little bit more difficult because it has to have two rectangles, one to cover each side. Now if you hit select all three, the slice button is no longer available. So we're going to have to do this in steps. So select the left side and the T by holding shift and um, clicking with your mouse or dragging it. We're going to hit slice. Select the pink rectangle, delete it. Select the pink circle, delete it. Select the piece of the black circle, delete it. So now this side's gone, but now we have to make this side go away. So we're gonna do the same thing. Drag and select the two or shift key and click and click. We're gonna hit slice. Grab the rectangle, delete. Grab the rectangle, delete. Grab the sorry, not the rectangle, the circle, <laughs> delete. All right, so now it is down to just the three letters we want, but they're all separated, so we have to go fix that. So we're gonna select the T and drag it over, select the L and drag it over. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I can take a look at this we're just going to work on, you know, lining it up very as best we can. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it because what we're going to do is highlight all by clicking down on your mouse and dragging or holding the shift key and selecting each one. We're going to hit align and select um, distribute horizontally, align, distribute vertically. Now it's still not perfect, so we're going to just line them up by hand the best we can. And there we go. Um, now, I'm going to select all three and hit weld. And now it's one piece again. Once you have it the size you want, you're gonna hit make. And what it'll do is in the pattern, it'll cut out the T, it'll cut out the L, it'll cut out this L, and then it'll cut out the circle. You'll keep whichever one you want. If you're wanting to keep this where the shirt or whatever you're doing shows through, then you'll just peel those and toss them and keep the circle. If you're wanting it the other way, just toss the circle. Totally up to you. Now, if you are doing HTV heat transfer vinyl, make sure to select mirror. That way it will mirror the image and you can do it correctly unless it is HTV that requires no mirroring. There is HTV that does that, so make sure to, to check your instructions there. Then once you have it how you want it, you select continue and then start your project. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this Cricut tutorial. If um, you would like to see other Cricut tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to make more for you because I find them very helpful and um, I hope that you do. Thank you so much for watching. You can click to check out another video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the newest videos that come out. Please remember to comment below on what you'd like to see next. I want to hear from you because you guys help guide me on where to go.